Right, hello. Um, I'd like to introduce you to James. James is the marketing director from the company next door, and I've asked him to come in and have a look at our IVA lights. And James, I've told you about this many times before, and you've often heard the stories, but I don't know if you've ever seen it before. Have I shown it to you? Once. Okay. Um, you're aware of how bright the light is when you turn it on? I, I've heard all about it. Okay. If we can turn it off again for a second. And basically, James, the clever bit is there are LEDs inside there. And they're solid state, so they're really tough. It's an IP66 rated unit, so that's actually sealed for life. You never get any flies or debris inside the lens, so they stay clean. So it's hanging in your warehouse off the roof. You've got fantastic, brilliant light because of the temperature colour, they call it. So this is actually 6,000 degrees Kelvin. Compared to a conventional lamp like that, it spits out about 3,000 degrees Kelvin, which is much yellower. Yeah. So the beauty of these things is you get a much clearer clarity of what you're doing on the warehouse floor or on the production line. And as I've often said to you before, and I thought I'd just show you today because I've never done it to you before, but when it's on, the fact that they're solid state and that they're tough, it actually weighs about seven kilos. The whole idea of this is to take the heat out of it, but you do something like that. Any other conventional lamp you've ever done that to would have broken. Yeah. Okay. Impressed? I wasn't expecting you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were, which is why I didn't tell you. And if you drop that from a, a higher height? A greater height, yeah, would, it, would it be the same? It, I'm just proving the point that they're tough. Okay. Right? They, this will probably last you 15 to 20 years in your warehouse. If you did that with any other lamp, it would just break to pieces. Mm. I'm not recommending that you do this at home, because at the end of the day, guys, this is a lamp. It's not designed to be dropped on the floor, but it shows you the engineering that's involved inside this. Mm. And if we can turn it off again, what's inside there, which is what, we're, what we do, and as you can feel it's not hot, so, um, inside there are the heat management chips. So should this unit ever get to 85 degrees centigrade, the controllers in there, the drivers, actually shut the power down to the chips to protect the lamp and to protect your investment so that you don't burn the chips out because chips don't like heat. And the problem with a lot of the badly engineered and badly designed units that are available in the marketplace is that they get too hot, and if they get too hot, they burn out. So an LED chip will never go like a conventional bulb. You won't just go pop and stop They've working. They've got filaments, haven't they? They've got filaments, correct. These have got no filaments, as demonstrated by dropping it on the floor. They've got no filaments. They don't go, they just go dim. So you end up with like orange lights hanging off the ceiling. You can't see where you're going. Now, if you've paid three or four hundred pounds for that, you are a bit cheese off. Of course. This unit guarantees to perform for seven years. That's the guarantee, and they will actually probably perform for 10, 15, 20 years, who knows. We know they degrade by about 1% per year, depending on the circumstances and a lot of other variable factors. But as a general statement, you can be quite confident these will last 15 years. So you've got a lamp that's going to last you 15 years, and you've got technology in there which will make sure it's protected. How long is the... The usual lamp. Those sort of things, anything from 18 months to three years, depending on, again, how they use. How much does each one of them cost to replace? The bulbs aren't that expensive. They vary from about £18 to about 50 Your problem is replacing them. Exactly. Right? They're 12 metres up on the ceiling. Somebody's going to get up there and change it. Exactly, yeah. So you've got all the health and safety stuff, all the other vibration factors. So that's what I've been telling you about. No glass to break. So fantastic for food factories. Anybody who wants to, that's got any production lines where food's involved, glass is a no-no, you've got to take your watches off and all that sort of stuff. Mm. So you've got polycarbonate lens, very tough. You can mount these outside, they can go out in the car park, but like your stately home, whatever you want to do. Are they waterproof? They're waterproof, yeah, sure. Uh, you could actually put that in a pond, not for very long, <laughs> but it's waterproof enough to be submerged for a minute or two and come out. No harm done. We actually do ATEX versions, you probably don't know what ATEX are, but ATEX lamps are for explosive atmospheres, so... But produce no spark. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Um, so there's no sparks, and they're fully sealed for life. They've got a 19 millimeter glass lens on the front of them, and should they ever explode inside, they just go... <coughs> stop working. <laughs> yeah, no, correct. Um, so that's what we do, but thanks for coming in. No, that's fine. Right. Appreciate your time. That's any time. Thanks, James.